Hello everybody, it's me, it's I Hate Will. How you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Today we are playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and this is my girlfriend, Josephine. Hi! Oh, you got a nice chair, man. I was hoping oh, you'd be by. Crap. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevada. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. Okay. And the Inquisition's deeds have won their respect. They'd never have contacted us otherwise. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Orle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. To winter is the longer, richer game. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a Pentecost. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Navarra. As a Pentecost, will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentecost, her interest in politics is best described as... thin. Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Argon Redanus has rightly identified Gorypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. Tell me about Redanus. Like most Tevinter rulers, he's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'm gonna help to Venter this time, because my girlfriend wants me to. Tell the Archon the Inquisition will do to Venter the favor of wiping out the Venatori on its borders. Very good, Inquisitor. We'll inform him at once. Okay, so... Let's go to the War Room and figure out what we're going to do today. Time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlay. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlay's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Oh, very good. Very, very good. We've beaten their god twice over. Corypheus must be livid. Where is he now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. Good of Corypheus to make it easy to find him. If he's hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we finish him. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. Well, all right then. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. You can restore an artifact like this. There was a price, but one I gladly paid. I found legends of an elven temple 
within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? Oh! A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Am I going? Guess we're going. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. A useful trick. For one who knows the way, certainly. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not... resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places... between, like... this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time, one cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each Alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Um, hmm. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh. Like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Weird neck thing you just did there, son. Well, okay. Um, hmm. Can I go back in there? I guess not. Alright. I think we're gonna call the episode right there only because... That seems so important to the plot that I don't want to muddy it up by doing a small quest, which was my original plan. However, we have a diamond over here. What is that? Oh, it's a war room. Okay. Okay. Nothing new from anybody, so like I said, we're going to call it right there. And next episode, which will air very shortly... 
We will tackle whatever task needs tackling. So for now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself, you sweet baby. I'll see you next time.